Myers battled it the other way. Good keep there by Dumoulin. And oh, is he ever hurt? And he's shaken up on the hit by Wayne Simmons. He's still down. And now we're going to have Kostikov is still ailing down on the ice as Dumoulin. Well, Wayne Simmons during the can trying to get loose to get after him. The four officials are going to confer. About the punishment to Simmons. But in the meantime, the main concern is Brian Dumoulin. Getting back to his feet. Go back to playoffs a couple of years ago. Tom Wilson got Brian Dumoulin, so he's felt some significant upper body hits. He just gets it high and high. I don't think that's a cheap hit, Eddie. I really don't. I think Simmons, I think Simmons squares up on him. That. It almost seems, again, the angle. Contact. The shoulder comes up. That's what makes the principal point of contact. But I didn't see the arm extend. He didn't hit him from behind. But watch the shoulder to the head. Right there. You see it better on the other angle. Right there. Four on four hockey. And then plus the impact of the hit and then the head onto the glass and Dumoulin going into the dressing room. He's a critically important part of the Penguins defense. He and Christopher Letang play so many minutes against the other team's top lines. We've seen all the replays in slow motion. Now let's take a look at it in real speed. The contact by Simmons. And Dumoulin's trying to keep that play alive. And then bracing for contact. From Wayne Simmons. But Tang and Simmons get minor penalties. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Now Hornquist has gone into the box. Because Latang's gone to the dressing room, and that's what the officials are explaining to Scott Gordon, the coach of the Philadelphia Flyers right now. That's why Hornquist is in there docking Eddie. Okay. 